Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool that's going to help us capture some information during our modeling session. Or essentially, all of the information that you see scrolling by in your command window or that's displayed for us, that's the information that's going to be saved. So we can use this for any number of things. We can use it to help troubleshoot, uh, evaluate the commands that are used during a particular editing session. Uh, we can use it for training purposes. We can review coordinate entry. It can even help serve as kind of a black box to help us record the command transactions that were used in a particular model. So anyway, it's a, it can be a helpful thing, a useful tool for you to have in your toolbox. So I wanted to make sure everybody was aware of it. So uh, we'll get to it. The, the command is actually log file mode, but it's one of those ones that we can probably get to a little bit easier by bringing up a dialog where we can see it. So I'm going to go to the options dialog. And under the options dialog, if we go to open and save, there'll be an area here for maintain a log file. So you can see the set variables here for log file mode. That's where we would turn it on and off. And then there's also a log file path. That's where the uh, file is saved. And then we can also, there's one for the name as well. So it's turned off usually by default, I think in, in all instances. So it'd be something we'd have to actively turn on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Once we turn it on, it's on for all of our sessions. So it's not a drawing setting, but it's a system setting. So go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to go to Files. I'm going to come down underneath my uh, log file location. We can see the folder where it's being saved. I'm going to browse to a different folder here because this is one by default that I'm probably not going to stumble across anytime soon. So I've got a... Uh, Tuesday folder already set up on my desktop that we'll go ahead and grab. So I'm going to come down to my desktop here and we'll grab my Tuesday folder just to make the location of my log a little easier to find. So we'll go ahead and say OK. Well from here the first thing I'm going to do is, is save my drawing, give it a name because I'm in a default drawing one. We'll go ahead and, uh, and save. We'll, uh, we'll give it a name. We'll put it in that same folder Tuesday and we'll just call the drawing Tuesday log file demo. All right, with that, we now have a log file that's being captured. So once again, everything that's going through our command line will be maintained for us. So we'll just go ahead and just do a little work here. We'll uh, insert some points from a file. We'll go ahead and select some files from a list. Now, remember, every time you're working in a dialog box, it's not going to maintain what's happening in the dialog boxes. It can only capture those things that are in the command line. So some things we'll see that we've entered into a command and maybe not necessarily see all of the uh, goings on within that dialog, but we'll know which commands were run. So in this case, we'll go ahead and bring those points in. We'll uh, add those points to a group. And we'll just call this topo for right now. And we'll say OK. We will uh, zoom extents. So I can see all of my points, and let's say that I wanted to maybe connect uh, connect the dots on some of these. We'll come up under uh, home here. We'll collect a line or connect a line. Um, actually, let's do it. Create by point number and range. Point number we're going to start with. We'll say is uh, twelve fifty nine uh, through. We want to go to twelve sixty five. All right, it automatically connects up a line for us don't have any more we'll go ahead and escape we'll say C to close that's closed I'm happy with that um, I could come in then and uh, you know maybe uh, move move a segment just to capture that maybe erase it if I realize I didn't need that let's run a audit fix any errors detected we'll say yes and no errors detected we'll do a purge purge out any unnecessary things within my file. We'll uh, purge all nested items, purge all, and close. All right, so we've just run some commands. I'm, uh, I'm all done with this now, so I'm going to go ahead and save my file, and then we'll close out. Uh, and you know, before I close, let's take a look at the command line. Uh, if we go back and look, this is the information that it's going to save for us. Uh, once again, even though um, it's not capturing what's in the dialog box. It's actually or any dialog boxes we initiated during the sequence. It is capturing for us everything that went on. So even though I said go from 1259 to 1265, I see coordinates that are being used. And, you know, if you think about it, this information can be used for any number of things. So I'm drawing lines using particular coordinates in that. 
Um, if I'm having issues with uh, maybe something not performing correctly, hey, there's one guy in the office that for whatever reason the files are uh, having an issue, I can go back and see if there are any commands or something that are unique to that particular workstation or, uh, or workflow that that person's using. So anyway, with that captured, let's uh, go ahead and uh, close out of this file. And then I'm going to open up my Tuesday folder here. And if we look at the Tuesday folder, here is my log file. So we'll go ahead and double click to uh, bring that up. Actually, that was, uh, we'll bring this down here so we can see the whole thing. You'll see that is, and this is why the name is important, uh, drawing uh, 1212 uh, as far as a log name, but you see it was QSave. Once I did the save, I was in drawing one initially, but once I did the save, it got a name, so it was a different file. So that logs in a different location. So we'll drop out of that. Here's the log file for that file. So the uh, logs themselves are unique to the particular drawing file, so it's not constantly overwriting the same one. And then I can go down and look and see after that save all that I did. I imported points. I uh, did a zoom extents. I created a line using point number 1259 to 1265. I see what that did. I see I canceled uh, the sequence. I closed it. Uh, did a move, did an erase. Can't necessarily see which objects I moved or erased, but I can see that there was an erasure or a move done. I ran an audit, everything looked good, um, and I did a purge and no orphan data, nothing that uh, was reported. I did a queue save and then a close. All right, so once again, it's a feature of uh, Civil 3D or the AutoCAD-based applications that can be helpful. Most folks don't take advantage of it, but like I said, the information can be helpful for a lot of different things, whether it training, troubleshooting, um, or just uh, maintaining a record of what went on during a particular drawing session. So hope this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.